So if you're using Suprema, whether that be facial recognition, as in the face light, face station 2, or indeed fingerprint readers, and you want to be able to use proximity tokens as well, maybe some users don't want their credentials stored, I don't know, but if you do want to use proximity cards, tokens, FOBs, etc., there is an option to basically bypass in the respect, don't try and match the card to the user that's on the device, just pass it straight through to the access control solution, um, at which point Brecess will then obviously manage that credential for you in the respect as to whether that card exists against the person and whether that person is, is within hours, start, expiry date, all good and obviously they do have access to that door or turnstile in question. So to enable the feature you just jump over to Biostar, you find the device or devices in the list for which you want to enable this feature, you select that device, you scroll down to the bottom click advanced to expand keep scrolling keep scrolling until you get to the Wigan section by default it will be set to normal um, but basically click that it will go to bypass and this basically means your face or finger will still work in the respect of sending the correct number when it matches you but when you present a uh, proximity card or token that will obviously output the card number directly to the ACU rather than try and match it to a user that's on the device. So let me just apply those settings. Now if we jump over to BreeCS, in order to get the token number into BreeCS, you can use the um, standard Paxton USB desktop reader, the 514-326. <clears throat> and you do need to use the standard one because the OEM version, for some reason, seems to output on some cards a different number to what would be read by the Suprema uh, reader itself. So the standard version does output the correct number. There may be some outlying cards that don't, but generally the cards that I've tested, they all seem to work in that regard. So that's the standard desktop reader, 514-326. So basically, if I now present uh, a card that isn't currently enrolled to the top of the reader, as we can see, it went beep, and we've had an access um, event come through basically sound invalid access obviously we can't that the token details are not found and don't belong to any user so now if we double click to edit the user or obviously when you're adding the user the same thing if i now click add card i then present the card to the uh, standard desktop reader that will then fill the box um, and add the card to the user Let's save that record and now when I present that card to the reader again, obviously that number is now associated with myself and access will be granted. There we go, access granted for myself. So it's that easy, you just basically enable bypass, scan the proximity card, FOB token, etc. on the standard desktop reader, at which point you can now um, gain access with proximity cards and face, or should I say, or face, or fingerprint, etc, etc.